Hello and welcome to Tabletop Odyssey, you crazy people. My name is Jay and today I just want to revisit something um, that I did a year ago actually, um, which is the Tabletop Simulator mod for Star Wars Legion uh, made by Tyron. Um, and yeah, basically in that first one I was like, oh look at this Tabletop Simulator mod, it's it's great. Um, it is so much better now. That it, it, like, it is incredible and I just wanted to make a video which just is essentially... Um, if you're interested in Star Wars Legion, uh, you should be, and you've got Tabletop Simulator, or you, you're thinking about getting Tabletop Simulator for this reason, then go ahead. This mod is absolutely fantastic. Uh, big shout out to uh, uh, Tyron. Terence, I believe, is his name. We had it, we had him on the podcast as well. Uh, lovely fellow. Uh, he does have a Patreon, which I'll try and put in the link below. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. This isn't a tutorial, neither was the first one. Um, I just want to come in and show you show you the kind of stuff that you can actually see in the Tabletop Simulator mod. It is so good. Um, it just needs it needs repeating is essentially what it needs. So I'm just going to make a, a server name. This is where I was playing X-Wing with somebody from the Discord just last night. Um, you can... I'm, not, I'm going to presume that you vaguely know about Tabletop Simulator. If you don't, it's not that hard to learn. Uh, you can literally just pick the mod that you want on the uh, Steam work page. So in this case, you can see I've got X-Wing, I've got Star Wars Legion, which is the one we're obviously looking at today. Uh, you click this and you click load. And it might take a little while to load. Tabletop Simulator is fantastic. Uh, the optimization of it is perhaps mm, not so great, but that's not the mod itself. The mod itself is absolutely fantastic. Just realize you can pick different camera angles. So when you come in, you have this. Um, you can see uh, it, it little updates there, so it's got it's got stuff that's actually not released. It's also got stuff that is released, but it's got stuff like Palpatine and that kind of thing. So um, the first thing you might want to do when you come in is pick a map, um, and it's got this nice little handy console over here. I really love the aesthetic of it. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, well, we'll pick a map first just to show you. you. We could have a learning game if we wanted to have the learning game. Uh, so the delay, any delay from the computer is simply um, the game loading up. It's not a fault of the mod itself. That one might be a fault of the mod itself. I actually have no idea. But this is, if you wanted to do a quick learning game, yep, you got everything you need there. But let's have a look at some maps. Um, it's just taking a little while because my computer, not having a great time today. I think possibly because I'm recording the video and my, data, my uh, CP usage will be through the roof. So let's have a look at the map menu. Let's have a look. Uh, well, we'll have a look at competitive terrain map because they actually run the uh, there's a Discord uh, tournament which um, people has like prize pool and stuff like that. And uh, it's in season two at the minute. It's ongoing. It's called. I can't, well, the first one was the Invader League. I can't remember what this one's called. Do forgive me. Uh, but let's say we wanted to have a look at, at a desert map. And yes, we will. It's populated it over here. Uh, this is if you actually wanted to place it yourself. What a fool. I wanted the pre-made maps. So if you want to just plonk in the terrain, you can see it's got the terrain from like Imperial Terrain. Fantastic 3D printed stuff. I actually wanted one that was uh, bespoke. This Bespin Gardens, I absolutely love this. I just really, really love this map. It's such a cool, cool idea. Um, and you can see it's actually already got the units um, from the prepaid, uh, from the pre-made learning game. But um, if you want, you can clear that, and we could make our own little list. It's got everything you need to make whatever faction you want. Um, and you'll notice in a moment, like you can actually include stuff that um, isn't um, released. So we could have the imperial officer if we wanted. Um, yeah, pretty good. Uh, that it's got all that kind of stuff in. This is exceptionally good if you want to practice for a tournament in the future with stuff that will be out then but isn't out now. Uh, instead of proxying, you can also change the cards that you're going to run. So in this case, I could have covert observation because I've got um, that late, the commander officer woman, um, and it's not just that. Like once you spawn this, you get your deck of command cards and that kind of stuff. Then if you are the blue player, you would click battle deck. And you might be like, oh, where's that gone? It goes all the way over here onto the screen, which is uh, cool. And then you would take turns eliminating one of the cards. Let's say, I'm just, let's just say I wanted that. Um, and that you would be done there. Then you click next. Then they populate here. And then you can like pop out the, uh, well, we've got the overlay for the, um, 
deployment it's just it's just it's just fantastic if i'm honest it's absolutely fantastic um and i love it um you can view your hand i should be able to view my hand but i don't know why that's not working at the minute uh because i've not selected a color so technically this isn't my hand let me select myself as a color oh, that's not what i wanted to do uh i want to be the blue oh no camera come back so you can see that's my hand uh, my command card hands if i wanted to get rid of that i could do that or that's pressing h or if you want to look at one in detail you can press alt and have a closer look at it fantastic obviously i only have the one miniature as of right now um let's just say that we're done with that and let's say um, we want to activate well you might be like what do you do all your tokens will come here so you'd put your command card out then you'd allocate it um, or you can put them in a stack um, and then well it's it's because it's in the wrong place but this is a terrible uh, demonstration but hopefully you get the point hopefully that works now it's because i because i took it there we go it should be able to go it's because there's only one <laughs> but basically if there was more you could stack them together then you would shuffle and then you would randomly select obviously i can't do that because i've only picked one just for uh, demonstration purposes but i want to show you it's a little bit uh cool because you can do like act and let's say i want to do that what a move it defaults to the standard move of that unit so it does one for the snow troopers etc etc and uh yeah let's say we i wanted to do that full move uh i click that but oh let's say i've changed my mind let's go back to the start fantastic fantastic let's say we're done with movement um i don't have any miniatures over here otherwise i would show you this but basically if you click attack you get your range uh, stuff out now if you actually had an opposing miniature to click you would click that unit and then it would draw like a straight line to show you the cover you know like base to base straight line center to center um fantastic well, i could cancel that oh i didn't mean to cancel the whole thing i should have clicked attack you can easily give him an aim token fantastic so let's say you're ready to attack well you just come over here to the dice trade you've got one for each side let's say it's two black dice you click your dice click roll whatever it is fantastic and once you're done you can just clear those and you can obviously pick your defense dice at the bottom all the tokens you need all the dice you need literally everything you need um there is no range marker um but the what people are using at the minute is just this line six inches is range one 12 inches is range two and such forth uh, people just using that instead um yeah like let's say we were done there it flips over and automatically and you would be done it's so good um I, I really 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 like it like uh, the stuttering is my computer as i said not the mod um but it's fantastic it's absolutely fantastic it does everything you need in a game like uh, you you can save your army so let's say i cleared that card i could make an army in here uh, and then save it straight away basically so that um um, as like a data disc then you can put this data disc in here and it loads up your army straight away it's just so good <laughs> um i have like no proper words for it it's just absolutely fantastic you can make any of the kind of maps you want as i said with the pieces that come out or um you know you can have a look you can do pre-made ones which is fantastic so we're looking at moss eisley here um with the imperial 3d printable imperial terrain stuff all the barricades set up pre-made you can make your list and just start playing obviously those of you who don't know tabletop simulator is you can play online so like uh you and a friend can essentially we've both got the game he could he or she could join this game and we could play and i think hopefully either this weekend or possibly next or maybe the one after <laughs> this is a very long schedule uh, me and katie should be doing um a game like uh, on here uh, and if you mouse over the cover it even tells you what kind of cover how to treat it the sides of that trooper uh, impossible at the side impassable at the sides obviously you can climb it the roof is open terrain so i mean it's just got everything you could think of pretty much and possibly more um i really 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 love it i think it's absolutely incredible um yeah and if you've got tabletop simulator and you're interested in star wars legion you should definitely check this one out i don't think i'll do another video about the x-wing one but the x-wing one is also pretty decent um, but the legion one i realized i did a video a year ago and i was like oh it's improved so much since then just needed to get it out there and tell tell you guys if you're not already on it because we've got decent internet now i've actually played against somebody from the star wars legion discord and um, but if you want to get into my discord and challenge me at an appropriate time 
we can have a game, which I think is a lovely little concept. You can be, I played from, I've put, who have I played? I've played somebody from Southport, somebody from Canada, somebody from Virginia. Um, you know, it's, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I, I don't, ha- I mean, I don't have anything more to say. It's just so good. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, and if you join the Discord, you'll find people like-minded who are, are either terrible at X-Wing like me or okay at Legion, but willing and looking for games. So yes, check it out. It's incredible. Uh, I can't gush enough over it. Thank you so much to Tyron, Tyron, Tyron. You think I'm so appreciative I would try and remember how to pronounce his name. That's just me being terrible. <laughs> My apologies to him. Uh, but yeah, I, I I can't recommend this anymore. There, there isn't really an alternative to this for Star Wars Legion because this one's so good. Why would you bother? Um, it's amazing. So yeah, thank you very much to him. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, which is me just showing off somebody else's work, but um, then do like if you're not already subscribed then do subscribe thank you so much to my patrons i do really appreciate that there'll be a link about the um i do really appreciate that thank you so much and uh, yeah that's everything have a most beautiful day and goodbye